now i want to change the front page looks when this website that you are making okay you have already added it here very nice so how was it added like can can you show us that thing turn editing like you you did the turn editing on uh, right perfect turn editing off okay it is already on that is why you are turning it off so you will turn it on again and then we will be able to see right now below this image we don't see that gear icon where the welcomes w is there so you are going to turn editing on okay this is still there you have not deleted the welcome to moodle site so can, can you like yes turn editing on right just go to yeah it is on already i guess you turned it off oh, let's see if it gives us the permission to change hmm yes 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 uh, right where is that gear button from where we could edit this we need to remove this modal video yes here it is you click here excellent 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 very good now in the summary portion yes below this image that you have added it is already there so that thing has to be deleted so what you can do is you can just scroll in this text box the summary text box where the summary is the where is the department of yes where you have posted the image hmm yes below this below this image you have entered department of business administration under this image you will see something you need to go to the summary text box or you do one thing you you delete everything you click on this image okay. you click on this image and then press backspace or delete yes now again control a and then delete everything so that everything is deleted yes right now you can insert the image you want to now it will be only that image very nice browse the repositories sometimes we can save the files in our moodle site sometimes we upload them live okay recent files means you believe no because you did not you did not upload your yeah, private under the private files you have not uploaded anything so recent files won't show you can upload the file because it is there on your laptop so you can upload it upload a file hmm choose a file right ma'am you can go to wherever the image is i'm glad that you have prepared a folder in which we have got the things now now please do one thing all right reserves click creative commons like you like you want people to use but you want them to give credit to you all right reserved is they cannot use it okay upload it upload it go ahead now wait description not necessary you can select or you can type like this is the header image of something yes the image looks very big so let's make it short 108018 so let's make it small 1080 can be turned into 680 because it is auto size so once you make it 680 and click anywhere on the screen it will automatically come 51 5 so automatically it has been resized so don't worry about it now where do you want it you want it to be at the bottom top middle of the screen let's make it on the top okay now yes scroll down and save the image save the image without saving without turning editing on yes save the image now save this edit save this change yes 
do you remember your password you do yes sir okay sign out log out go to the right hand side the profile thing and log out yes let's see the changes have happened or not now this is the landing page everyone else will be no don't log in we need to see whether that image has come here or not come back go back yes hmm scroll up yes here it is ma'am right now only available courses is there because the courses available are being shown that there is also a setting that you can also hide the available courses and only the description or the summary will come we are not going with we are not doing that for now but this is the the course which is there and up, uh, can you just scroll up and that is the site summary of the site you can also add a video here the same way moodle had added the video you can add a video also other than yes, sir. In, yes, sir. in place of this you can go to insert video there was a button and then you can click and then the video can be inserted but we like those steps are the semi advanced steps so we'll work more on adding the contents uh, please remember there is one thing that i learned when we were working on presentation skills uh, and it was about powerpoint presentations now they said that artistry can not uh, say compensate for the the poorness of you say the contents artistry cannot replace contents i can decorate the site very well but if the contents are not good people won't appreciate it point 1 point 2 if the contents are good people can manage with the colors and the designs now this is as gentle as we teachers are that we have just placed one image as the header image and then everything is there now these are the courses okay you can open the course the one you want to the one on which you are we are adding the content okay good now you are doing this thing you have opened the course turn editing on turn the editing on without turning the editing on you can't do anything to the course so you are turning the editing on very nice that is quick now we have entered the locker and we can change the the things now click on topic 1 pencil the pencil icon there's a pencil in front of topic 1 right type anything which can be the first topic of your coverage you can make it introduction to research or something or you can write the word introduction you can write anything like what should be your first topic on the very first day like what you can do is like suppose i have got classes 3 days a week so every day can be at least uh, every day can be one topic okay hmm right ma'am enter press enter you wouldn't do that do it again not a problem yes research methods enter right here it is now <coughs> see uh, everyone now what she has done is it is about introduction to research methods when will your course start do you do you remember the date you had entered may 11 sir 11 sir suppose suppose you want people to see this course this unit on 12th only so go to this this introduction to research methods go to the front of it just on just there is a button called edit just in front of your topic everyone we are restricting edit very nice Ed, go to edit topic go to edit topic edit we are restricting access of the users to this topic before a particular date so go go ma'am them okay summary you have given for the course restrict access ma'am like uh, the course will open on 11th but you want that student because you will give them login id of this this course they can suppose they 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 on the very first day or second day they will they, they will be done with the, the fourth unit also so you want them that these things should open in a, in an order and organized way that this unit will open on 12 this unit will open on 13th this will open on 14th okay restrict access go to restrict access yes go to it okay add restriction now wait these are different restrictions 
I just want the date thing. Suppose someone has completed an activity, like uh, first you gave me a survey and you want that when I am done with that survey, only then I should be able to open this topic. Then you can do this also. But I am going to teach you or train you or talk about only date just because the, the, the limitation of two days only. All these things can be there. You can block someone. You can open it for someone. We can go to date, ma'am. When we click on the date thing, yes, it will say from which day you want it to be available. So, your 11 can be changed to, ma'am, 13 or 12 as you wish. You can make it the date 11. Okay, you're making it 12. And then you can, the timing also you can, you can like uh, fix the timing. Suppose you can make it uh, 11. Why I'm making, okay, no, you can keep it the way you want it. So that tomorrow when we start the session, we can show that changes have come. Okay. You can save the changes. Hmm. What we have done. Yes. Can, can you just show in front of the topic from where we have reached? We click on the th edit button in front of the topic. Edit button. First, we turn the editing on. Yes, ma'am. That's it. Just don't click on it. Edit topic. Now, you can see restricted available from 12th of May. It means whatever you add to this topic, suppose you have added only a PDF file. You add 100 many things to it. You, you click on add activity and resource. You add a file, you add a URL, you add an assignment, you add a quiz, you add a wiki, you add a survey, you add a lesson, you add a workshop, you add a label, you add feedback form, chat, choice, anything. The student will not be able to access it before 12th, 11, the time fixed by you. You can restrict anything. One single topic can be completely restricted. You can restrict only one thing in the topic also. Like suppose, uh, supp you can click on mem. Suppose what do you do? See, you have added a file now. You can click on uh, go go down. You can you can click on one more thing, which is called click on the uh, page. We'll do page URL label. So these three things I'll do with you and then we'll move on to one of the one of the teachers who wanted to share the screen. Click add name of the page because we'll copy paste some some explanation from somewhere some some descriptive content will be there. It will be like an article that you are posting a page is an article. So you can say some explanation or something or or, or what you okay formulation of hypothesis. Or, or what you want to write like caps lock is on hmm, right hmm. nice now this is the description of it you can avoid giving the description suppose you don't want to give the description of it sometimes the title is self-explanatory so you can skip it so you can display description on the page. You won't click because there's no description here. And now the contents. In the content thing, you can copy paste. You can copy paste something. You can hyperlink something if you have seen. You can insert an image. You can insert a video. You can insert uh, some, some kind of embedding code also that we will just talk. Yes, no, 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 the after image, yes, insert, insert or edit video, insert or edit an audio video file, click, wait, go to video, not to link, go to the video, video, yes, now copy paste, Wait, go to display settings. Scroll. Let's not change the settings or everything. I'm not even asking you to add a thumbnail. Otherwise, that image will appear and then uh, the video will be played there. Now, 
click on uh, okay close the display options like uh, there is a small arrow on the left hand side at in front of d in front of d in front of d of display yes collapse and expand okay collapse now advanced settings and subtitles and captions we are not using it insert media every step has to conclude yes now you can see the video is here but you can see it here whether the students will be able to see it or not we need to check it out you can scroll down on the same page no but see the options are ma'am options are like just go 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 to the same uh, typing or the description thing the options are that you could add a bullet point thing you could add the text thing you could add numbers all these things can be added and my friends who are into mathematics and physics i guess they people can understand it better uh, can can i see the whole menu uh, dr neela can we see the whole menu like those things yes 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 Th these are there now see can you click on that arrow which is which is like just on the image thing not this one the left one Up above the image no this was image just on uh, like above the image the very first one very first there is an arrow which is yes it will open more men items now can you click on a, on a on a calculator yes on the right hand side yes equation editor so my friends can add equations uh, leave it ma'am come come like uh, yes equations can be added like if it is your subject you know it better so it uses the tx so people like who are from this domain they can understand it you can cross it you can close it and then save and then we'll move on to share the screen of uh, someone else you have done pretty well uh, leave it uh, yes scroll and then save it save and display you can do Mm -hmm. we are not restricting access because the whole topic is restricted save in uh, save in okay display or return the one you have done okay now turn editing off turn the editing off hmm yes right uh, scroll down see restriction is there can you click on formulation of research problem now where we had added the video yes we added it here scroll show us what is there in this content page here is the video can you click on it play so here is the video everyone if the audio is enabled uh, okay, okay your system volume is like uh, not there uh, what is my role your role is the owner of the course you don't need to change the role you, you can just check whether how it looks to the student fine ma'am uh, turn the editing on so that there is one person who has asked how to edit the topics so can you tell them how to edit the topics no on the right okay go to the uh, scroll up not here just on the same page where the title of the course is written not on this side at the center of the page you can scroll and then go up where the the very first thing is there yes go to the course turn editing on you missed it wait now nah, turn editing on jasmine ji it is just in front of the course go to the course first or you you, you share your query uh, that would be i guess easy ha uh ha -huh. no problem no problem Uh, let me see 
Okay, you click on the small gear button, the blue setting button. The blue setting button in front of edit. Yes, now you'll be able to edit your course. You click here. You can edit the button now. See, now scroll down, ma'am, and see if you have set the date as 12th of May, you won't see the course. See, it will start tomorrow. Uh, can you change the can, can you change the category? Can, yeah, can you change the category also? You make it 11 or make it 10 also, not a problem. Huh? Can you change the course category? You know how to change it? Yes. So you can assign a category to it. Okay, scroll down. Yes. You haven't given a description, not a problem. You can upload an image also. Course format, can you show? You can save and display. Okay, wait, ma'am. In front of the agricultural microbiology, just on the right hand side, if you travel, you see, yes, turn editing on. Yes, ma'am. So now it is open for you for any further construction. Without turning the editing on, no one can do anything to the course. Is that fine? Now, what was your query, ma'am? It is fine. You have done very well. You have also done the restriction that this. But, hmm? but I want to know that add an activity resource. Huh? Uh, what's the meaning for label? I'm, going, uh, I'm going to do it. it. Now, see, label is, label is, let me explain it through you. Label is when you are adding a page or a URL, then a student has to click on it and then they see it because they will click, they will enter and then they will see what you have uploaded. But when you add something as a label, it is highlighted. This description you can read, ma'am. Like every, every add and every, every activity and resource which is listed here, when you click on it before you click on add they have given a description that what it does you can scroll and see label can be used for some headings and some images and something you can click on add I'll, i will do it for, through you label is it will appear to them directly in the course it will be on the front okay what is the label text you can type anything you can put an image here you can type anything it will appear it will be there and they don't need to click on anything to see it. Okay. okay, agricultural, you write the word, this is a label so that we know. Okay, agricultural. Fine, please type label. Just, 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 just for like, uh, us to see that it is a word that we have typed. Okay, label. Hmm? Nice. Now, click on go go to the bottom of the screen and then save and display. Save and return. Return to the course, ma'am. Yeah, because we don't, like this is the only thing we do it. We don't add much to it. We are simply return. Now, can you see it is there? and see you can't click on it and why you can't click on it because it is self-sustainable like it is it, it doesn't depend on anything like uh, for a downloadable file like that word document or something or waste management we have to click and then we will see but a label is you can see it and it is directly visible it can be an image generally what we do is we can uh, we can make a label of like suppose you are announcing something some examination schedule some uh, syllabus for a test or something you can add it as a label that it will be directly visible as a highlighted thing is that fine something we want to announce that uh, we will use the label we can okay. use the we can use the label when we want them to see it without clicking anywhere sure. like it should be highlighted it should come up front okay. done ma'am thank you thank you i was okay i will talk about label again though 
uh, fine ma'am if there is anyone else to share the screen or you have some more queries okay i am sharing my screen if someone else is not sharing let me share my screen and then i'll allow others to so that i'll 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 talk about it my my screen has come to you now and here is the course the page was added let me go back to the course or the dashboard i'm going to home now these are the topics everyone i had added i am going to the very first place where welcome to learning forum is there now forum is a discussion platform where you put a topic and all our learners can give their observations as we know that quora is there like uh, some discussion forums are there on facebook also we conduct discussions so this is a discussion forum because when you go when you go to the the classroom you you initiate a discussion for previous knowledge testing or just to plant the topic so that time like this thing will be required so this is because this is virtual teaching so we are going to bring almost the same things uh, someone's mic is not muted so i'm requesting you to kindly mute your mic i'm clicking i'm clicking on public speaking now see i clicked on public speaking course and then what i'm doing is the course and this is the thing which is called you say uh, this is what the editing thing is there so when i'm talking about editing on and i know that when i'm going to turn the editing thing on it will be possible for me to do something here turn editing on if i would have clicked on edit settings i would have been editing the course but i don't want to edit the course i want to edit the topics now we are talking about welcome to learning forum i want to edit it do i want to edit the title no the title is fine so i'm not clicking on the pencil i'm clicking on it this thing itself welcome to now this is the forum there is no topic there is no news and announcement done by anyone so i'm adding a new topic i the students and everyone can add the topics before i do like this thing i'm showing you this at the bottom of the page which is going to make me navigate like people say see page edit is the next one so if i want to go to page edit download file or sample speech url these are different topics do i want to go to those or not so i can navigate means i can uh, travel to the site from this segment as well so what i'm doing is i'll say subject is what subject is p r e v i o u s previous e x p e r i e experience sharing no do e x p e r i e n c sharing about p u v l c speaking share your i thought one image can also be there in the discussion just to like uh, motivate them to do something so we can do that also so if we are going to do that so we can go to something and then put an image also like so that image will motivate motivate them so let's put an image the images that i have downloaded are uh, creative commons images which are free to be used without uh, telling uh, who is the author so that is why i am using them confidently description i'll say dis discussion forum image i'm just giving a description so that if you do not see the image the description can tell you this is the image is about but now internet is almost like good everywhere so that is why we gen we can skip this thing so that image is going to come here no i have added a url i need to add a file wait 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 okay i'll add this one load a file i am picking a file to be added to the forum okay it is taking the url and then here it is this is the image 
and I am saving the image. The image has been added to the forum and the forum's title is this and there is a small message here that share your experience and I can add an audio also. Dear students, this is a discussion forum to open the course public speaking as we all are not new to public speaking so we all must be having some experiences. I am requesting you to post some words about your experience of public speaking or the observations about speeches that you have heard in your life. Participate in this discussion forum. That's it. So this thing is being placed here and then I'm not adding any attachment. Suppose I want to add the syllabus also. Right in the discussion forum, I can add the syllabus. I can put it here, discussion about syllabus, topics, and then, then we can say syllabus is here, but we are not doing that. So these things can be done. Uh, I'm posting it to the forum now. This forum is open to all the students who will be enrolled in the course. And there is one thing which is a feature that if someone is going to respond to something or creates a forum for 30 minutes, you can edit after that. You cannot edit it. Suppose students are going to create some forums by mistake, by error. They do something which is not required. After 30, 30 minutes, they won't be able to make any changes to their, their, their observations they have added. I can add a new topic or I can ex share experience. Now, the one who has created, someone was asking about the roles. You are everything. You are a student, you are a teacher, you are the manager, you are the course creator, you are everything. You can do anything like in, in this thing. Now, this is the, the thing. Do I want to reply? Delete? Because I was the owner, so I can delete it. Let me reply. And you will see that even if I'm replying, I'll appear as a, as a, as a response. Now, this is first response to forum and I'm not adding the okay fine uh, dear sir I want to share my experience about public speaking when I started speaking in my school days it was quite tough for me to stand on the stage because I was conscious and all my friends were looking at me and they people were smiling at me so I do remember that day and till this date it is sometimes tough to speak in front of my friends now this is the submission which is coming and not image okay posting to the forum let me see whether it has come to the forum or not i should request you when we are going to learn how the user how the users are added you will add a secondary email id as a student and then you can test it because changing your role from here will sometimes won't show you the actual things you want to see now see everyone i created this experience sharing about this and because this, this thing was inserted at a wrong place, so that is why this word got broke. I could have pressed enter and then added the audio. The image was there and this is the response. Uh, dear sir, I want to share my experience about public speaking when I start. So all these things can happen. This is what we have done in the welcome to learning forum. This is the news and announcement forum that we make. We can make an announcement also. And uh, like if you people want to see more of it, let me go to the, okay, incognito is still on. I'll just need to refresh it. There is one thing very interesting. If the settings have allowed announcements to appear on the login page, they appear there also. If the settings have allowed the announcements, they appear there also. But what we have done is we have disabled the settings, I guess. So only this thing is there and this course is there. I'll tell you how the announcements are being shown. Uh, just now we'll do it. I'm opening the course and trying to see whether I can log in. And uh, I will find that because I don't have an account, so I can't log in. And there is nothing. Guest access can guest cannot access this course. Please log in. So what I do, I come back to the original place. And this is what I am doing. That is an advertisement. So let me go back to the second thing. The first one was everyone general in the general like in the structure of your course general means announcements and chats and all those opening things you can completely delete this segment also if you want you can you can delete it but why to like delete something we, we are going to use it another activity in the beginning let's add chat how i'm adding it 
I'm going to turn editing on for the course and adding an activity or resource. I'm adding chat. There are certain things like you can see attendance and big blue button. Big blue button doesn't work these days. It is not free. So there's no like uh, at present concern or worth of looking at and then being curious about it. I have enabled certain plugins. So that is why these are visible. You'll be looking, you'll be finding less on your Genomeo. Now I'm adding a chat. I'll say chat box for students E V R Y every day. Suppose we make it 9 a.m. Suppose I've got a class for three days only. Why would I make them chat on Sundays? Uh, display the description on the course page. I'll say, fine, take it there. We don't mind. Chat sessions. What I have done, everyone, I have add activity resource and then I selected chat. And the moment I clicked on chat, these are the things that came. I have entered the name of the chat room and a small description. I have decided that this should be shown to them on the page itself so that they know it is for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Now I click on chat sessions. Next chat time, 11th timing will be, I'll say, I'll go with the timing of 9. This. Now, all this thing, like you say, repeat, publish. I'll say, yes, I want to repeat it. No repeats at the same time every day, at the same time every week. I'll say at the same time every day same time every week or you you can select the date also everyone can view the past chat sessions yes repeat and publish now these are options don't publish the any chat times no repeats publish the specific time only there are no repeats to take place at the same time every day at the same time every week at the same time means every week it will happen and 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 we'll see there's one more thing that i, I i'm just going to show you these are the things like you you talk about the students can manually mark the activity completed do not indicate activity completion it will be shown at the bottom whether they have done this activity or not like they after doing this they have to click on it and then it will be counted as completed because in the MOOCs certain things are there which will be uh, required to be to be to be done so all these things they happen and this is about the chat um, I'm closing it and save and return to the course okay save and display I'll, I'll do and this chat can also be seen by you tomorrow some of you will be added as a student so you'll be able to see it now this is the chat i have added click here to enter the chat now a separate window will open as you can see and this window will allow me to send my messages to the to the teacher So I will say these are the messages being sent to the teacher by the people who are chatting. So online chat can take place and these messages will be coming to the teacher here also and here also like these are the chat boxes here also these things will come now I'm coming back again to the course just to show you that this has been added chat box participate daily Monday to Wednesday why we now these two things have been added what other thing can be added in the announcement option attendance can be added everyone but please like allow me to talk about it later on because this plugin doesn't work everywhere this is a special feature and if we go to attendance now it will be a tough thing forum we have talked about forum is this this icon is forum then chat box we have added glossary we'll add later on and uh, quiz we'll add later on we have added a we can add a file in the beginning if you want them to download the syllabus we can add a folder also that we are not doing now label can be added now let me show you how label works label comes up front straight away you simply like uh, 
either type it or you attach an image or a video let me let me bring a bring a video for you now just bringing for you like this is the video copy 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 video url now close it some checks uh, okay now what i'm doing i'm not adding an image we have been adding an image since morning let me go to insert or edit audio video file now source url no i want to add a video click display option i'll say i want it to be big so one zero i'll suppose i make it eight nine zero pixels by six two six thumbnail url no i want like it to be exactly it how it appears now these are the options in advanced settings show controls play automatically muted or loop loop means it it, it completes its play time means five minutes or four minutes or three minutes then again it restarts muted means like if you people are on instagram you know that by default sometimes the videos are muted and then you then you click on it touch it and then the audio comes play automatically means the moment it comes on the screen and then it gets played or show the controls we are keeping it show the controls no subtitles and captions are added display options done all these things are done insert the media now you can see the video has been added here and i am going to not restricting anything i want everything to be open now this is what it is this is the course page and this is visible to them this is how it has come this is just the first general section but if it is add an activity here or it is here all the features are same all the features are same the features the the same features can be added to any single segment or topic here suppose i want this thing on the top so when the turn editing on is there i can drag it and i can bring it down so these things i can do or i say welcome on the top this thing here such things can happen so this is about the first one and now a page added a downloadable file and sample speech url why not add a, a small you say assignment because after all we are going to assign them something here it is the very first thing when i click here this description is there which is which should be read by you because i have read it so i'm skipping it that doesn't mean that you should not be reading it so you read it what exactly happens students can submit their work individually or as a group also groups can also be created when you learn further into into moodle now adding a new assignment to why we need to speak this is the topic heading and the activity is this so what we are doing i was under the subtopic why we need to speak topic one it was i guess in the after the announcements chats and forum so assignment is write a speech suppose like this is description is write a speech 200 words additional files i'm giving them a file also or i'm giving them some description suppose i want them to write a file on on i want them to write on this i'm giving them a topic on the given image description is here image is not visible i'm not adding the image to the description i want them to click and then see that downloadable file now when will this assignment appear i'm starting the course on 11th and uh, for two days i'll be teaching this so let me do one thing the submissions will start from 13th and submissions should be done before 18th these two things have been enabled that from 13th of may they can start submitting from 13th of may when they have started submitting the due date is 18th if i want that i should be reminded that i should give the grades i should be reminded on 20 20th by moodle that this is a pending thing it will come on my dashboard that i am yet to evaluate the grades of it cut off date means i like, like what i have already told you what is the way cut off date is i click here and i read 
the assignment will not accept submissions after this date without an extension suppose due date is 18 and i enable it and i make it 17 17 means like if someone is submitting it on 17 it means I want the person to be known to me and the person should tell me the reason why the assignment has got late though the last date is 18th. The last date remains 18th but I want a cutoff date also like see a cutoff date is there and then we have got extensions so I'll be giving them permission to, to go further with the submission. The request will come to me a notification will come. I'm not enabling it. Submission types everyone. See what we are doing we are adding an assignment by add activity and resource. I gave assignment name. I gave a description. I added add additional file. I have uh, placed the date from when the submissions will be accepted. The last date to submit. Cutoff date we have not enabled. And the teacher will be reminded that it is pending. The grading is pending. You need to check the papers. But what kind of submissions you are saying? You say I want file submissions. They should only give me an attachment. Then I thought no, they can type also. So what is the word limit then? Okay, word limit is uh, 2000 words because I have already written it here. So you click here online text, they can type or they can attach the files. I'll say I click here, it means they cannot attach the file, they have to type it. So both options are there. How many files they can upload? Sometimes you know that they'll be uploading 20 images. I'll say I can allow them only to upload two separate files. Suppose they are they are going to no, there is a possibility 2000 words will come on 10 pages 200 words per page probably or maybe something less or more than that. I'll say 10 attachments can be given maximum size 100 MB i7 accepted file types everyone they can uh, they can give you a you, video mp4 webm uh, Microsoft Excel file word document PDF uh, text file what kind of format you want to allow so if I choose I open this and it means all file types I'll say no I just want audio all audio I want them to give me documents which are docs EPUB GD OTT PDF and everything or I'll say no I want only the the, the rule is only PDF has to be submitted so it means I'll say no audio only PDF has to be submitted so if I say PDF has to be submitted, it, I have to ch save the changes. It means only PDF will be accepted. Even online text will not work that way. File submission is fine. On online, they will type it. That is permitted. But if you are attaching a file, it has to be PDF only, PDF document. Feedback type, submission type, group submission, notification, gradings. I'm not, okay, you want to make it a point grade or a scale. So let me go with the point thing. What is the maximum? I'm giving them 20 marks. Grading point 20. Grading method, simple direct grading will do it. Grade category, we haven't created a category, so it is giving us un uncategorized. Out of 20, how many marks should be there to pass? Can someone put it in the chat? Out of 20, when the people are writing a speech, how many marks is are the minimum marks to pass? Can someone just tell me I'm there? Out of 20, how much I should enter if you people are following me? Hmm. Okay, 10. The first one is 10. I'll say 10. Blind marking everyone. You know that blind review, the peer reviews, blind reviews means I don't know who the author is. So do you want to do blind marking in which Moodle will not show you whose assignment it is? You will not know the name of the student unless the student has written it in the assignment itself. Otherwise, you won't see. You will simply get the document. You won't get to know who has submitted. I'll say no, I want to see the student's and then some other things are there I'm not touching the restrict access is there but why would I restrict it because I've already made it 13 so it doesn't matter but I don't want them to even see what is written here but no I have done the error of uh, displaying description on the page but I don't want to hide anything they should be knowing it or write a speech on the given image given image means they don't if they get to see the image on 11th itself then they will have more time so what i want them to work is five days like they they get to see it on 12th so what i do i'm going to restrict that it will open for viewing they will be able to see only on 12th 
that way on 11th day people will not have access to what are the instructions inside that thing so see now i uh, if you remember what i did i had clicked on display i did not click on return so that is why i have come back let me let me like go back to this thing why this page has come no grading participants are zero i'll show you how this is the inside of the right a speech assignment we did it where is it yeah write a speech restricted available from 12 see i can't click on write a speech 12 words on the given image see i can keep on clicking i'll say okay like, hitting my head here and then nothing will happen so nothing is happening means i can't open it i can open it from here because i'm the administrator of the course otherwise i wouldn't have been able to click now when i click you can see i can edit from here edit the assignment but i am not deciding to edit it what i am doing is i'm showing you when the teacher clicks when the teacher the the owner the creator the, the teacher clicks here the teacher will see total participants how many submitted needs grading and then you can click on view all submissions or grade you view all submissions then all the submissions will appear somewhere here and grading action means view the grade book also grade book can also be seen by you but because we haven't got any students so the grade books will not have anything see this is the grade book we have given this assignment write a speech everyone but there is nothing what will appear in the grade book if you see here are the grades uh, on the left hand side in the course first name surname email address write a speech and the marks that you will give will be here if i click here i'll simply land on the same assignment which is there you can give it a try adding the assignment and uh, let me check out in the presentation what we were supposed to do we have just talked about page url file we have talked about announcements news forums and chats and label also so that way uh, presentation about online content creation that is still pending i guess i have walked a bit slow about this so this is the grade book about assignments this will by default appear when you will add an assignment i have added an assignment to one of the topics see now in this topic what i have done if you feel this this looks clumsy and 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 sort of crowded all these descriptions can be hidden otherwise you can keep them so a page a download the file a downloadable file now i am feeling that i should give them the downloadable file later first they should watch this this and then the assignment should be the first thing because second thing first the page in on the page i have given them how to write and what to write and why to need to speak and then i'm giving them the assignment after them i'm giving them a speech url they can watch it or let them watch it first and then they write the assignment and then they can download this thing or i feel no it should be here so these these sequences can be changed now why public speaking and this was why we need to speak why public speaking number 1 let me go to a page why public speaking uh, this is 35 i'm extending the time a few for a few minutes before i give you time to to work on yourself i'll just share this is the website like this is the the place i write blogs the latest blog on 9th of may was teaching for learning like rather than teaching for the sake of teaching we need to teach to 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 make them learn so this is an article which is about that the stage is a very cruel place you have to be prepared when you want to be an orator so what i have done is i have brought the complete description from my own blog so like nothing wrong about it so description is now this is the article okay hyperlink is there so what i will do i'll right click and paste as plain text i can decide the size i can provide it boldness 
is what I am able to do. I can get it to the center as a description and description saved. And there is an auto save thing also. See draft saved. So all this is here and I am returning save and display. Okay. This was missing. And what is this? This is a PUB public speaking recordings. So this is a page that I have added. Let me see your chats. There are 198 also host details about building of the CV now. Uh, uh, uh. Which one? That website EMM. No, there is another one. There is another one that I had made on Eclair where the name is the same, but the, it was a Moodle cloud based course. I'll display that course to everyone. How like the course is running, I'm yet to evaluate the submissions. I'll give a complete demo how it has worked for me. And that's just a thing which is going on. So nothing like vague about it. It will be quite clear to you how it has worked for me. Now see everyone, this is what it is. I'm going to now this here it is public speaking a page. Let me add one more thing. Let me add a URL. And what URL I will add is, let me show you the various resources that I have been like using. Uh, if you if you have heard about Sam Manikshaw, Sam Manikshaw was the first uh, field marshal of India. Like uh, he he is a very you say what do you call legendary speaker i would say and and and, and fortunately that uh, people in the defense services or the ideals that we have around us they have been the no nonsense people so this is the video that i am inserting as a, as a sample now where is it yes it is external url here let me bring it in now see this video is a copyrighted video so i have to give credit to it Sources AK Sharma 1947. Suppose I have given this thing and I'm not displaying it to the students. And this is not in general necessary also because if someone has provided the embedding thing possible for a particular video, like we can see if embedding is allowed, we are embedding, we are not make, making money out of it. And Moodle, my computer science friends will understand it better. Moodle doesn't require you to put an embedding code. You can put a URL and it embeds through the URL only. And this is what you have seen earlier also in the in the previous things when we had uploaded something. See what I'm doing, I'm adding a new URL. So title, URL and all this thing and this, this, this and see but one mistake I have done. What I've done is I'm adding a YouTube video and I'm adding a URL. It would have been better to add a URL to an article. And this is a R T I article. Read this case study. A URL should like there's a better way. Uh, URL only. I, I'll show you why I'm doing this why this change is required. So th there are two options. The URL can be you are just giving it a URL. You are not embedding it in your Moodle uh, course. That way it can be done URL only and then return to the course. Now I will add the video as a label so that it will be visible on the screen itself. Students will have a highlighted uh, you say view of uh, this thing. I'll add a label now. Label. Now here comes Sam. In the label thing, I'll be adding, inserting a video. Here it is. Um, display options, advanced settings, and all these things you have seen. Added. Let me take help of this to center it. Like I click here once. And then I click here and then got it at the center. The size can be like I what I do is I double click on at the center of this video and the same settings appear. I'll say no, it is looking small. So let me make it. Now that's a very you say 
setting in which this will go like this i increased the width of uh, the size of the the thing that i have entered as label and i have not given a text to the label i have simply added it and now it is appearing there is one more thing if you want me to add you can please uh, put it you can please put it on the chat i have added i have shown you file url label page assignment what do you want me to add now because if you people are working on it you can let me let me like i'm not adding quiz quiz is pending file url label assignment chat forum chat forum we have added do you want to suppose they have watched this video let's add a discussion forum after it yeah that's a good idea very good idea someone suggested let's have a discussion forum what makes him like uh, a good speaker so if we are talking about sam manik shaw forum's name is sam manik shaw a n l Uh, the corrections which are suggested to me are suggested by this this plugin grammarly g r a m m a r l y <clears throat> those of you are not using it i request them to use it g r a m m a r l y uh, semantic show description displayed everything done 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 okay save and display i have added uh, one forum to this thing like i told you the text and all these things they also remain the same all the interfaces about the typing thing they remain the same add a discussion to the topic now all of us are analyzing some people will analyze let's talk one discussion is about non verbal communication actually multiple discussions can take place so nothing 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 okay fine display period can also be done like you can decide that for only these many days it will appear now new discussion topic every student can also add a discussion topic another one is about vocabulary now everyone will be suggesting me things about vocabulary these two discussions have been added under the the forum forum thing now see from here i'm going to jump to the do 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 public speaking importance now we are working on okay let's go to welcome i can jump on to other say things okay quiz we are going to do vidya ji later on we have i'm going to i'm going to give you people assignment in the evening that this format is required for the questions and you will be working on that because quiz and user and participants they are going to be very crucial not tough very small errors happen what is easy to see is always easy to miss so i'm very cautious about that if there is anything else you have seen in add activity and resource you can let me know if you people have been using it primarily our agenda going by the things we have decided keeping in mind the time that is the most important thing because two days are enough for anything and less for everything that way now we are working on announcements we have talked about announcements adding the topics we have done we have revised the course creation page file and all these things have been done we are working content management i'll i'll just talk about it after tea we are dispersing or taking a break now now you can see this is the forum let me go to my course i'm clicking on the right hand left hand side and going to the course now everyone let me turn editing off and then show you this thing and then you people can just go and have some rest and at 3:45 in this these 30 minutes work on the things now discussed in the 345 kindly make me uncomfortable with your questions
do ask questions that show that you have actually like been troubled by something and then you are very near it like you, your, your trial is very important now see this is the view this is the size uh, this video like uh, this video i have created as a sample while i was uh, teaching and developing things on a video resume like how video resume is required to be made and it was worked on an on, on an animation creation website called powtoon So chat box is here, page edit is here, download file, sample speech, fine. Now this is what we have done. Second topic, public speaking importance. Click here and then you'll find the article, new window, new tab, and you'll find that article here. See, this is the article as a blog and something. This is here and then article, read this case study. I have given them a URL and then it takes them to the same thing where it was like linked. This is the speech discussion. I can go and I can say this is the discussion on the speech. All these things are functioning. Same manic show. These are the speeches about vocabulary, about non-verbal communication. Same manic show analysis of speech. Students can also insert that his dressing sense or something or something the people want to do. All these things are still pending. The same way I can add four things here, four, five things here, four, five things here. There is no limit to add content pages. Like you can add as many pages as you want. You can add as many as URLs you want. You can embed as many as videos you want. Does not matter.